Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we had made it to our first, well, technically second kind of like save area. Um, on our way to uh, find Janine. Now, yes, 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 we're in the train station. Uh, well, tram station, I guess. So we just fought a load of birds and some uh, tentacles, which you can see do not respawn. So that's, uh, oh yeah, door's locked. That's worth knowing. Right. Let's keep going. And of course, <laughs> we're going the wrong way. Let's go back the right way, shall we? Um, now, this room is a little side cutaway area. We can't go through there. So, let's take a little uh, back alley, shall we? Yeah, got some kind of control room here. Apparently it's operating. Uh, that's good. Ooh, warning. System broke down. Oh, well, I mean, that's pretty clear, isn't it? The system has broken down. Hmm. Emergency alert. Shuttle section should be stationed. Emergency alert. Shuttle section should uh -huh. be stationed. Negative pressure on the shuttle holder system has uh -oh. increased 20%. The security limitation is exceeded on shuttle system. Security brake has been activated. Well, that doesn't sound good. Screen's gone red. Uh. Hey, somebody is on board. He's locked up in the hmm. shuttle. Activate the emergency stop control. Safety brake will be destroyed in 130 Man. seconds. A shaft entrance lock has been deactivated. Well. Activate the emergency stop control. Safety brake will be destroyed in 125 on seconds. Them. A shaft entrance lock has been deactivated. Activate the emergency stop um, control. Safety brake will be destroyed in well, 120 seconds. Instead of staring at the screen, let's a shaft entrance lock it, has we? been deactivated. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have uh, <laughs> we have two minutes because Elliot was staring at the screen for a while, wondering what to do. Uh, to go save this dude. So let's go save this dude. Now, there's a few times in this game uh, where we will have little timed missions like this. Oh god. They are optional. Uh, but you do get good stuff if we do them. And we are going to do them. Just get rid of these tentacles. Now, it sounds like you don't have a lot of time. Like, Here we go, we've got two minutes to save this dude. Ah, it's easy. Yeah, it's really easy. So we're not going to worry too much about it. We're going to go through some bullets though. I do like the uh, animation on the gun as well. It's really cool, especially back in the day. The whole reload animation um, is nice. The gun animation is, is cool as well. The way you actually see the slide on the handgun come back and it exposes the barrel, stuff like that. This was like really cool stuff that I liked. Now the animation for climbing the ladder, well, that's questionable. Right, uh, now the camera angle is that's an ass piece in here. It's really hard to actually realise that there's a freaking like cutaway there that you can go into. Um, I think I struggled with that quite a lot the first time I played this game. But there is actually a computer system here. Another computer saying system has broken down. Activate the emergency stop control. The emergency stop control well, will be activated. Emergency stop control program has uh -oh. processed falsely. Emergency stop control program will shut down. Please notify the system supervisor. Computer rescuing program Computer will be activated. Program. It will override the shuttle control program. All security circuits have shut down. All control circuits have shut down. All activation circuits have shut down. Emergency stop system activated. ESER member Elliot G. Balad is identified. The command Doctor's to override just has been... Well, I guess we saved someone. The shuttle has completely stopped. Please secure the right. passenger. Well, apparently out. the machine is operating again. Yeah, those these like computer terminal bits are very long winded. They kind of repeat themselves over and over and over and over again. Uh, ah, hey chief. You know what? Let's just blast this guy away with a pistol. You don't have to worry about him too much. Yeah, can you stop oh, okay, he's not dead yet. Damn. But you can also see like, there's not a huge amount of point in using the handgun on those things. Uh, now, these weird bat things, 
uh, when we kill them, they don't actually do anything. They don't have like a death state. They just kind of go to sleep. Um, but they are dead. Look at these weird ass things as well. Kind of looks just like a weird head with loads of eyes and like a massive grabber on the end. Hmm. Yeah, I've never actually looked at those things up close before. Now, there is a little secret behind here. Uh, Elliot, if you would uh, do the honours, buddy. There we go. Found a metal bat. And we found a large hassy because we need one of those. Right, okay. Well, we've got a large well, a metal bat, which is actually quite nice. Uh, let's actually equip that, shall we? No, we want uh, Elliot. Short weapon, metal bat. Now, yeah, the metal bat isn't too bad, actually, for a free weapon. Let's have a look at the info. Bat. An aluminium baseball bat. Yeah, it doesn't really give us a lot. But it is better than using our hands. Not a huge yeah. amount better, yeah. but it's better. Right, let's go in here and see this bloke we saved. Alright, Chief. Uh, hey, what is that you have there? I didn't think <laughs> I was going to make it. Thank you. What's happening on the island? A meteor must have hit the island. Since mm. then, everything turned upside down. And what were those monsters? I don't know. I haven't a clue. We'll be pressing on. You should stay here. The shuttle's safe yeah, now. you stay here, buddy. Got I'm uh, just going to be taking this. Uh, the napalm gun. Yeah, that's quite a spicy weapon to be given for free. Uh, it's one of Elliot's weapons. I've got four rounds for it. Uh, the ANBL-80 Hellfire. This semi-automatic short-range napalm launcher uses 15-pound D2 napalm rockets. It holds up to four rounds. Yeah, kind of like a rocket launcher that fires fireballs, really. Um, it's really good. And it's a fairly expensive weapon if you, uh, you know, buy it. But obviously we've got it free for saving that dude. Right, come on you. Let's get this done. Baseball back to the face. Well, smacked your head off at least. Let's get you away from objects because we don't want you dropping your coin purse to places that we can't get to. Yeah, kind of weird the way the money just like vomits out of them. Uh, and then we have to go around picking up all of the coins on the floor like a beggar. It's... It's, yeah, a bit strange, but it works, you know. Door is locked, that's fine. We don't have any key cards or anything for any of this. Uh, it can't be unlocked here. Well, that sucks. Let's keep going then, shall we? Ah, corridor. Alright, well, let's get rid of these bloody tentacles. Now, you probably can take these things on with hand to hand, but it, yeah, it probably won't end very well for you. Yeah, this place looks like, uh,. Saying out Tron or something. Weird. Oh, hello. You right there, buddy? I'm just having a little bit of a rest. That's all right. Who is it? Elliot. What's the code? My sweetheart. No, that was cheesy. I don't get that. Like, is he being cheesy and she's just like, oh, for fuck's sake, and opens the door and let this dickhead in? Or is it like... I don't know, it feels like we missed a conversation there or something. And here's Janine. Hello. I knew it. She's perfect. She's my kind oh. of girl. Oh, jeez. I... By the way, she just starts lighting up the fucking ghostly apparition that turns up, which makes sense. And the dialogue's not working. Why... isn't the dialogue working? Um... You know, at this point, nothing surprises me anymore. My name's Janine King. Nice to meet you, Elliot. Janine King. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Elliot. 
Let me introduce Janine King, a security guard here. Her skill is A+. Plus. And this hairy guy is... His name is Dogs Bauer. He's a captain of the SS Cargo, Deanna. What? You, you guys know each other? I don't know her. You sure about that, Dogs? You know, you shouldn't run up your bill at Rat's place. Your name is on their blacklist. <laughs> You're pretty famous. God damn, son of a bitch. <laughs> My favorite line in the game. Janine, what's going on here? I mean, I don't think one meteor created that big dome and produced a bunch of monsters. Mm, I have no clue either. After that shocking sound, all the lights on the island went off. When I was trying to turn on the light, the monster hmm. suddenly attacked me. Why don't you ask her? N Nephlin thing. Nephlin thing. Okay, I don't actually think we missed any dialogue there. I just think it was, like, horribly delayed. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, funny enough, actually, um, it was doing this on my other copy of Blue Stinger. Which is why I... Uh, bought this one. So, is it a bug with the game? I would say, like, a problem with my Dreamcast, but it can't be, because it plays the games fine. So, uh, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know why it's doing that. Nephilim knows something. What do you mean? Take a look at this. Hmm... I researched the database of this island's lab. Amazing! This lab immediately achieved the top revenue in the bio industry. Ever since then, it keeps on moving up. They should pay me more so I can pay off Maybe my tab at the this. bar. I can't talk. I'm drinking ale right now. How did they achieve such wealth in such a short amount of time? Uh, they've got the best brains hmm. in the business working for them. The second research group ended up working for the lab. What the hell happened? The programmer's security system. Space biology? Dinosite? Uh, Janine, can't <laughs> you break the code? Oh, sorry. I need an ID password it's of a lab employee. Shit. I may know how. You have an ID? Let's go to Rat's Place. Rat's Place? The bar where you <laughs> ran up your unpaid bill? Why do we have to go drinking now? Don't be ridiculous. The entire city area has been destroyed. The bar may not even exist. There's nothing you can't well, get. Well, there we go. Rat's Place. That's what we say. Let's go, Elliot. Wait. The city area is also called Lab Town. Right. You need a pass to get inside. Hey, well, that Use was easy. It. At least she's given us a key. At least we don't have to find it off a corpse. Okay. Um, game? Game? I have no idea what's going on with this, guys. Uh. Hello? Ah, uh, god damn it. Right, uh, one second, guys. Hey guys, and we're back. Right, so, uh, I've managed to find out what the problem was, and it's a really fucking stupid problem. Basically, although this game, as it even says on the back, is VGA uh, certified, the PAL version of this uh, game, which obviously is the one we're running, is not actually supported properly by VGA. Um, so basically, the game runs at 50 hertz, but the cutscene, voiceovers, and logic run at 60 hertz in VGA. Uh, because I guess it was a bug that um, was missed, you know, missed out on uh, back in the day. Uh, or maybe they did know about it and they didn't really care to fix it because obviously the Dreamcast didn't sell very well, which they knew when they were releasing this game, and it was only going to be 
the bug was only present on the PAL version, which is only a small section, and it's only going to affect an even smaller section of people that use a VGA cable. So they never bothered uh, to fix it, which is really annoying. But we didn't... Did we have this problem before? So, essentially, it took a bit of digging on the forums. There are ways of fixing this. You can do what I've had to do here and switch from VGA to H um, HDMI uh, to SCART lead, which is the second best picture quality you can get on the Dreamcast. Um, or you can download and burn a American copy, a uh, NTSC version of the game, which runs perfectly because that game is optimized to run in 60 FPS as standard. Uh, so, yeah, the fuck's sake. Who is it? Elliot. What's the code? But I have noticed going back through this now, the voice and all the audio and all that good stuff is perfectly synced up now. So what a weird thing, just because it's a VGA bug. That's really bizarre. Now, can I tell the difference between VGA and SCART lead? Um, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, does this game not look crisp and sharp anymore. Um, whether you guys will be able to tell on YouTube, I don't know. But sitting a foot and a half away from my 27-inch monitor, yeah, I, it's, the visual downgrade is huge. And of course, we're running at a slightly slower frame rate. But hey, if that's what's got to happen, that's what's got to happen. I knew it. She's perfect. But you can see She's the voices are girl. perfect now. I... <laughs> Elliot's just like, whoa! It won't work. You can't hit her. What is that thing? Oh, the colors are nowhere near as good either. Oof. But hey, at least we can play it. Nephilim. Nephilim? She's harmless. So far. Yeah, let's not worry about the big anime character following us. I'm Elliot Balan. Thanks for helping me. You know, mm. at this point, nothing surprises me anymore. My name's Janine King. Nice to meet you, Elliot. Janine King. Is there more? Ah. <clears throat> ah, Elliot. Let me introduce Janine King, a security guard here. Her You're assuming that, a Elliot, plus. that she's A+. Plus. And this hairy guy is... His name is Dogs Bauer. He's a captain of the SS Cargo, Deanna. What? You, you guys know each other? I don't know her. You shouldn't run up your bill at Rat's Place. Your name is on their blacklist. <laughs> You're pretty Black famous. Blacklisted from a pub. God damn <laughs> son of a bitch. God damn son of a bitch. Janine, what's going on here? I mean, I don't think one meteor created that big dome and produced a bunch of monsters. Why not? I have no clue either. After that shocking sound, all the lights on the island went off. When I was trying to turn on the light, the monster suddenly hmm. attacked me. Why don't you ask her? N Nephilim, Nephilim thing. thing. Yes, let's go ask Nephilim thing. Well, I don't think Nephilim is really going to be answering any questions. So, uh, whilst we're in this hub world, uh, hub world or hub area, there's a few things we can do. Uh, why don't you ask her Nephilim thing? Uh, weird translation. You've got to love it, guys. You've got to love it. Wait, is this the way out? I don't think so. Yeah, this is into the nap room. Right, so in the nap room we have yeah. a karate t-shirt. So, karate t-shirts are equipable items. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's so weird. Right, so on this control pad, 
we can push the uh, right bumper to fire the weapon. We can push the right uh, trigger to fire the weapon. Or we can push Y to fire the weapon. It's strange, to say the least. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's save the game. Really weird. that I, I, I still can't get over that um, bug, to be honest, guys. That's so strange. I would never have believed that if I didn't like yeah. find it. Uh, on the forums. Loads of people have had that issue as well because obviously the Dreamcast is a bit of a niche console now. It's got quite a nice following behind it. Um, yeah, so people are discovering this game. And a lot of people seem to be enjoying this game as well. Uh, we don't need to buy any of that stuff. Yeah, definitely seeing a lot more ghosting um, a lot more fuzz. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let's grab some more handgun ammo. Because we want to keep the handgun tops up. You do find like magazines and whatnot scattered around, but um, there's not loads of them. I like these little sleeping beds as well. They're really cool. Now, uh, we have a t shirt for dogs. So if we go to items, it's so weird. The control scheme for this game is totally different. Obviously, we've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 2, which uses X, I believe. Yeah, the X button is the OK button. In this one, it's A. A was cancel in uh, um, uh, Resident Evil 2. So that's taken some getting used to. So we have other. Nope, we don't want that. We want... Oh, yeah, it's actually technically weapons, isn't it? So if we go to dogs, we have karate t-shirt. Karate t-shirt. Dogs loves to wear this t-shirt because it makes him feel like a karate master. Yeah, Dogs is just like a big kid, really. So let's go get that strapped in um, and switch up to Dogs. There you go. He's actually wearing the t-shirt now as well. So instead of... Well, no, he still blocks. But he can do a... Like powerful kick and a powerful kind of like punch combo now. Uh, are these t-shirts any good? Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I guess if you want to save ammo, it's a thing that we can do. But uh, hey, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Right, uh, let's go ask Nethlam thing what's going on. Yeah, okay, Janine. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. And we're going to switch back up to Elliot because as much as I like dogs and as much as he's... Yeah. I do prefer dogs over Elliot. Elliot's cool, but dogs is just funny. God damn, son of a bitch. Uh, Nephilim thing. I guess we can't talk to Nephilim thing, so we're just going to move on. And this is another nap room, is it? Is this the same nap room? Looks like the same nap room. Yeah, this is the same nap room. Because there's three ways to go. Actually, yeah, there's three ways to go. Because you've got... That's the way we came in. That's the nap room. So what's this way then? And yeah, there's like a little divot in the room there, but there's nothing there. <sighs> this door is locked. I believe that's the way we go to the end. So, come on. Are you going to do anything for us? No? I guess not. Well, we need to... Well, at least we know where we're going. We're going to Rat's Place because we need to get ourselves an ID card. So, let's go. Now, uh, luckily Janine has given us her ID card. So we can make our way to the aptly named Lab Town. Yeah, yeah, the, the <laughs> they kind of ran out of creativity a little bit making this game. Come with you. I'm not gonna like waste the opportunity to get some health. Actually, whilst we're kicking your ass, why don't we kick your ass as dogs? Uh, I oh god, I honestly don't know if this karate t-shirt is worth it. Um, there we go. Let's have a little fiddle, shall we? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. That was the kind of, you know, worked, I guess. Although I think he was, like, already bleeding to death because Elliot kicked his ass fairly handily, to be fair. All right. I'll hold on to this karate t-shirt for now. Make our way to Lab Town. What could possibly go wrong in Lab Town? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
You're about to find out there. If you want spoilers, you can go see my old LP. Oh my god! Oh my god, dogs is so slow. My god. Yeah, so when I played this originally, I'm guessing because a lot of my Dreamcast games were in storage, I think. It's a very long time ago. I'm guessing I was playing a burned copy of the um, US version. Now, why don't I just burn a copy of the US version now? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, my PC, my new PC that I built at uh, the beginning of the year, doesn't have a DVD drive. <laughs> um, my DVD drive is in my computer parts box. As well as another, com uh, I think there's three DVD drives in there. But uh, my new case doesn't actually have a space for um, DVD drives uh, or optical drives of any uh, nature. Uh, you do not have the card to open this. Hey, didn't she just give us the Lab Town card? Pretty sure we've got the Lab. We've got Elliot's ATM card. Right. Damn it, Janine! I get the feeling like we're supposed to have another cutscene in there, but it's not for some reason triggering. Um, let's change back into Elliot. Uh, if the game will listen to me. So, yeah. Um, now, I have... Come on, game. I'll tell you what, you can really feel how much slower it is and um, we're injured um, compared to you know 60 hertz I mean it's only like a 12.5% difference and look how much health that gave us considering it says it stores a tiny amount of health uh, considering it's only 12.5% difference you can really feel it you really can um, so anyway yeah uh, because my um, we and Wii U are actually modded. Wrong door. Uh, I've been thinking about getting a DVD drive, a port, well, a external DVD drive for my computer for a while. Just because... Uh, we've got to go this way. Just because I've been ripping uh, all of my games to ISOs and it's much easier to do that on your PC than it is to do it on the actual Wii or Wii U because they're very fucking slow. Like, very, very slow. Some uh, Wii U games take an hour to rip. Whereas if I rip them on my PC, they take, I don't know, about 10 minutes. And then convert them over. So, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess I will get another optical drive. There's definitely something going on here. I know for a fact that... There's meant to be another cutscene that we can trigger here, but I don't know why it's not triggering. Oh, this douchebag's back. Come then. Give me your pennies. Give me your pennies. I want some money. Give me your money. Yeah, the blood is kind of looking like purplish almost. A bit weird. Alright. Yeah, oh, even the money, the way the money like shoots out of them is like almost in slow motion compared to 60 hertz. It's amazing how much difference uh, that makes. And I did have the same sort of thing uh, when I was playing Resident Evil 5. I was playing Resident Evil 5 uh, at 144 hertz on my PC a while ago. And then I started playing it uh, on, I think it was the what was I playing on? Ah, oh, there was Who a switch. Elliot. And I'm, my sweetheart. What's the code? And honestly, like going from my bloody sweetheart. um 144 hertz to bloody 30. Oh my god. It's like playing in slow motion. It's really bizarre. Right. So Look, I would love to ask Nephilim thing, and I'm pretty sure there's meant to be a... There we go. Must have bugged Nephilim out. Maybe we something. had to leave and come back. What do you mean? Definitely bugged out. Take a out. look at this. Mm. 
I researched the database of this island's lab. Amazing! This lab immediately achieved the top revenue in the bio industry. Ever since then, it keeps on moving up. They should pay me oh, so much better now the sound synced up. The Jesus. Structural biology, bioengineering. Oh dear. How did they achieve such wealth in such a short amount of time? Mm, they've got the best brains in the business working for them. The second research group. Now, Janine always reminds me a little bit of Claire Redfield. She's wearing a similar outfit, apart from obviously the colors are different. What the hell happened? The programmer security system. Space biology? Dinosite? Uh, Janine, can't you break the code? Oh, sorry. I need an ID password of a lab employee. Shit. I may know how. To the pub. You have an ID? Let's go to Rat's Place. Rat's Place? The bar where you <laughs> ran up your unpaid bill? Why do we have to go drinking now? Don't be ridiculous. The entire city area has been destroyed. The bar may not even exist. There's nothing you can't get. Well, I'm Rats sold. Place. That's what we say. Let's go, <sighs> Elliot. Wait. The city area is also called Lab Town. You need a pass to get inside. Use this. There we go. See, uh, what actually happened when we were playing, uh, well, when we had the VGA uh, mode on. Um, she's meant to give us that, and that actually ends the cutscene. But because it's so out of sync, it's, the game never gives you the key item. So you can't actually leave the cutscene. It's, it's really silly. So, now we've got that. That door's locked. Let's go save it. This has been a bit of a shit episode. I do apologise. Thanks to all the glitches we've had. We've actually had the VGA issue. And we've had the fact that Janine wouldn't initiate the second cutscene as well. Which is a bit strange. But hey, we are now poised to continue in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching guys. And as always, till next time.